Hey, today we're working on a 2009 Subaru Outback. It has a TPMS problem. We've got a TPMS light on in here. It's been on for a while. Shut that door. And even after you start it, it's still there. Let's see, it's over here. So the car needed new tires, so we just went out and put some new tires on it, and some Michelin Defenders. And I had my TPMS light on before we took it in, I wanted to fix it myself. So I went out and bought uh, this tool, Maxi TPMS TS508, and before I took it in to have the tires put on. I read the sensors, and this is what I had. My left front didn't read. It read my right front sensor. And then it didn't read the right rear, but it read the left rear. And now that I've got it back after having the tires put on, I've only got one sensor that reads. So now I've got three dead sensors, and this is the only one that reads. And they have this one here in this position now. So I'm gonna hook the this tool up to the car with the OBD connector and read the the IDs that are in the car. And it should show the locations they're supposed to be in. Okay, so now I've got my OBD cable hooked up from here from the tool to the car with the cable that it comes with. So we'll get ahead and turn it on. Okay, so we're going to read the codes, the IDs in the car. Okay, select Subaru. I've already done this before, so it's already in there. Outback. It's a 2008 to 2015, so it's a 2009. <clears throat> so let's go to... Let's go to here. Program. And then it gives you uh, four choices here. I'm going to pick the copy by OBD. And I've already done this before. Use the data stored previously from the ECU. Yes. And this is what it had in there. So it tells me the left front right front right rear left rear now i'm assuming this is this is where the sensors should be not where it's reading them now because it can't read three of the sensors well these are this is the these are what they show should be in there and where they should be which is all i really need because i i need to learn the location and what the idea of the sensor was so I can clone the sensor because this tool comes with eight dual frequency sensors this car takes 315s so I should be able to as long as I have this number here I should be able to clone the sensors that come in the kit to that proper ID put it in the wheel and then uh, either relearn locations or put them back in the right locations and it should work. So I've got all the information I need. Now I need to break down the tire, which I just had, them, had new tires put on. I'm just going to try and break the top bead 
get the sensor out, program a new sensor, and put it in the tire. So we'll see how that goes, because they're kind of a low-profile tire, so they might be hard to compress it down far enough to get that sensor out of there without taking the tire off. I don't have to take the tire off, because they've already been balanced and everything. So this right rear tire is the only one that's reading right now. Uh, all the other ones are dead, even though I had two good sensors when I took this car in. Now I've only got one that reads. Uh, I'm assuming all the batteries have gone dead. And this one's probably on its way out too. So my thought is to uh, take this kit it comes with uh, eight dual frequency sensors. And I'll program these as make, make clones of these and put them in the tires and then put them in the right location or relearn the locations. And this should fix my problem. Uh, the kit that they came out with before this had four of the 433 megahertz sensors and four of the 315. Well, I've only got one car that has um, TPMS sensors on it, which is this car. So I tried to find a kit that had eight of the dual sensors, the newer sensors. And so I found this kit. And so now I'll have eight sensors I can use on this car over here. And so I can program all f four, put all f four new sensors in there, and I'll have four more sensors I can put in at a later time if these don't last very long. They usually last, the OEM sensors last, I don't know, seven, eight years before the batteries go dead. I'm not sure how long these last. So if they may last a, a couple years, I'll have four more sensors I can put in, and I'll have the tool. And I can always go buy more sensors. These are kind of neat because you can see the battery in there. It's right there. It's like a watch battery. Now here's a look at the the rim and tire after the bead was broken. And here's the sensor here. So I need to remove this from here to put a new one in. Okay, it's out of there now. I just busted it out of there. Don't drop any pieces in the wheel. So now we're ready to program the new one and put it back in. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clone the sensor. It's my new MX sensor. Stick it in there. And go to uh, advanced mode. Press yes, and it's a Subaru Outback 2009, so it's between 2008 and 2015. I'm going to program sensor, so I'm going to go down arrow, yes. Copy by OBD, so I've got the code stored, the old ID stored in here, so I'll say yes. Use data stored previously, yes. This is the data stored earlier. These are the IDs that were previously in the car. <clears throat> Working on the rear, left rear. We'll do that one. And I'm away from all the other sensors. You want to be, you don't want to be next to your new, other new sensors. Okay, so now it's programming. So success, 
test sensor. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and check the sensor to see what's what's on it. So, let's quick mode. Yes. Subaru Outback. Scan a single sensor. Yes. Press that button to scan it. This is the one we just programmed. It's a OD5EB5, which is what was in that position. So if we go back to here, take that out of there. So let's go back to the list. There's the list. So we programmed it OD5EB5, which is that one right there. So that one should be all set to go back in that that wheel so push no for exit exit out of all this hold down the power button to turn it off come on go off there we go Okay, so now this sensor here, I should be able to put in this wheel right here. It should be just like the sensor that came out of here. Okay, it's in there now. Let's put a little soapy water on the, the rubber and used a puller, valve stem puller to pull it in there. So there it is in place. Now I should be able to take the blocks out of here. And I marked the other side of the tire, so as long as the tire hasn't moved, I shouldn't have to rebalance or anything. It should work. Yeah, I just hit, went ahead and read it with the tool. And it's at 40 PSI. It's got the right number. I'm going to have to let some air out of it. I just thought I'd do this instead of using an air gauge. <laughs> Now we're at 32.5. Hmm. 30.3. <laughs> Thirty point three, that's pretty good. Hmm, right on the nose. Thirty PSI voltage okay. Temperature NA. Code or the ID code is OD five E five B. No, O D five E B five. So this one should be all set to go. I think I'll just do the other, other two. 
And the one that's working right now, I think I'll just leave it alone. I can always fix it later. So I have plenty of sensors. This one can go back on the side here. And then I'll do the two in the front. So, the tools seem to work just fine. And there it is, it's all back on. So we're going to do that uh, driver's front, passenger front. And then we're just going to leave this OEM sensor in this one that's still working. If the batteries are dying, this will probably be the next one to go. And then we'll see if the light goes out. Okay, let's do another one. That's what they look like. Let's sit that in there. Advanced mode, yes, Subaru Outback, 2009, program a sensor, yes, copied by OBD, yes, use data stored previously from ECU, yes, we're doing the left front, Yes. Oop, it tells you to get away from the other sensors. You can see I'm a little close to my other sensors. Ooh, six sensors detected. No, we don't want to do that. Yes, again, programming. Programming left front sensor. Programming success. <phone rings> Test the sensor. OD5EA5. Okay. Any key to continue? Okay, let's go back. Let's go back and read the sensor. Quick mode. Yes. Subaru. Out back. Scan signal sensor. Oh, yes. Let's press this button. OD5E A5. I think that's the right one. Turn this thing off. Okay, now we can take that sensor, stick it in the wheel. We've got the other sensor out. Pretty much got to break those sensors off and destroy them to get them out. Get that in there and reseat this tire. Guess I can set you up on the tripod. So I just, uh, spray this down with some soapy water. Put it through there without dropping it. Now it's all soapy and slippery. This puller on. Just wiggle it, pull it.
Doesn't look like it's in yet. There we go. Okay, that's in there. So there you can see that's in there. on the back side did come off. But I did mark the mark the tire right there with two paint marks either side of this weight. And so if it hasn't moved, and it doesn't look like it has, then it should be okay. enough air through here with this Schrader valve in to get it to seat last time. There it is. So the bead is seated. Put it up to 35 with this gauge. It seems like it's at 35. I'm going to read it with the tool. Single sensor read. Thirty PSI, so my gauge is off five degrees. Five PSI, I mean. So that's all there is to it.